So Apple has announced developing a new MacBook with A18 chipset. But when Apple already have their M4 as a stable laptop configuration, then why they are potentially building a new one with A18 chipset and making a new complete market just like Chromebook and Windows? Let's talk about it. So recent rumors are about Apple developing new laptops with A18 chipset. Why they are been doing that? One of the potential reasons could be they are already been developing new models of phone every year. There are huge amount of chipsets that they are occupying. That's why they are, you know, using that same chipset in the lower end phones like iPhone 17, like iPhone 16, like iPhone 15 and so on. So their higher end configuration chipset of 18, they might be using in their new laptop, which will be potentially called as MacBook SE. So talking about the chipset, there will be a A18 chipset in the first generation, the original generation, and that chipset will be having two performance cores and four efficiency cores. In total, there are six cores. Talking about design and configuration, the new MacBook SE will come under the eight gigabytes of RAM configuration, and it's just fixed. You cannot upgrade till 16. You cannot go backwards, just eight GB of RAM. It will be in the 13 inch variant, with a high flexible display just like Chromebook having a good amount of uh, you know quality display there will be whole of new configuration of all sorts of ports like the latest Thunderbolt ports type C ports new USB 3.0 3.2 ports and every individual ports and potentially they will also be able to charge themselves by UFC USB type C so there will be no sort of like a magnetic connector MagSafe of just like M4 series laptops Talking about performance, which is like highly anticipating thing in whole of market when Apple has announced this. So performance will be not as similar as M4 series chipset, definitely. But if you talk about the original M1 chipset, this A18 chipset will be working more finer, more performance boost than that M1 chip. And yep, I'm talking about the regular M1 chipset. So overall performance, it would be very useful for the daily end tasks like running fewer tabs on Chrome's, like opening some docs file, opening some notepad and doing some calibration stuff. That thing all could be handled. But if you talk about the higher end performance work, like video editing, like photo editing, some sort of they could be able to do a 1080p level of editing. But if you talk about the complex one, like game developing, like blender using and like software configuration web developing these things cannot be thought of doing in those laptops just because it's it's like the chromebook where you cannot do whole of windows stuff but a somewhat amount of things in a lesser configuration and in a lesser performance mode so now the main part which is very important for a bunch of users and why apple is being building these things up so if you see when Apple has developed their M series chipset and the new MacBooks, the MacBooks are already getting so much expensive that the normal class people like schooling children, like normal, uh, you know, tasking, working people cannot afford the, those things. So the obvious reasons they will be shifting towards the window machinery or any other kind of machineries and potentially the sales of MacBook will be going decreasing, decreasing and decreasing. Talking again about the latest um, iPad OS, we already seen there are much more integration of computer like stuff in those of iPad. iPad already be essential with the M4 chipset, working fine, but again, they're much more expensive. So Apple has tried to bring something new with a lower price bracket, but performance similar to those of M1 chipset, like your mobile phone. So it will be very much essential for daily end tasks and all those kind of stuff. So the pricing should be also accordance with those things. So the starting price of these machineries could be around $550 to $600 not more than that maybe 650 or 700 but not likely to cross 700 just because pricing is much more essential here just like chromebooks they are not doing great stuff but their pricings are less that's why people yet purchase them although there's not much of work which you can do on a chromebook similar to this type of laptops as well so if you talk about are these making sense and will apple see this as a new upcoming future well, definitely yes just because 
the time of inflation tariffs and all those already making those products much more expensive apple is trying so those people who want not a much more uh, you know high end task they can shift to these you know low end working machineries and yet get a you know new quality of display new quality of working life and all those things very essential as talking about the future this would be looking as an entry level laptop and apple might be you know working this in a whole sort of level this was a whole of the new macbook se if you have much more things to say about which i have not been concluded here you can you know comment down below and the new apple iphone 17 is also coming and on a line of coming so it we will be definitely making on to video on that. Till that time, keep wiping just like this.